2.33. So uh, the value of Kc is 2.33. Now uh, it says units. Now if you see the unit of the numerator was mole per dm cube. The unit of the denominator was mole per dm cube. So the units cancel out. So we have no units in this. I write no units because mole per dm cube and mole per dm cube cancel out and hence I have no units over here. So it's 2.33 the value of Kc and it has no units. So we are done with this question as well. Now next question. Okay. So give the uh, so ethanoic acid and ethanol react together to form the ester ethyl ethanoate. CH3, COO, C2H5 and water. So first of all, water is a product in this reaction and all of them are not in aqueous state, they are in liquid state. So water is not a solvent, it is a product in this case. So when we write the expression for Kc, we will have to include the concentration of water and that's why it will be CH3 C concentration of CH3 COO CH2 CH3 times the concentration of H2O over concentration of CH3 COOH times the concentration of CH3 CH2OH so the co the all, all of these concentrations are raised to the power of 1 because the stoichiometric coefficient is 1 in each case so this raised to the power of 1 this raised to the power of 1 this raised to the power of 1 and this raised to the power of 1 so this is my expression for Kc and then it says that an equilibrium was reached when the amounts of substances shown in the table were below were used. Complete the table to show the amounts of each substance present at equilibrium. Okay. So the initial amount of CS3COOH was 0 0.4 and the final amount was 0 0.2. That means 0 0.2 moles of uh, ethanoic acid which is CS3COOH has reacted and all of them are in a 1 is to 1 ratio that means 0 0.2 moles of ethanoic acid reacted to form 0 0.2 moles of ethyl ethanoate which is the ester 0 0.2 and also to form 0. Point, uh, so 0 0.2 moles of H2O was formed but there was already 0 0.15 moles so an uh, extra 0 0.2 moles of form so 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.35 Okay, so I had 0 0.2 moles of ethanoic acid reacting. So 0 0.2 moles of ethyl ethanoate formed because there was 0 in the beginning. So 0 0.2 formed and 0 0.2 moles of H2O formed and I already had 0 0.15 in the beginning. So as I already had 0 0.15 in the beginning, I will have 0 0.2 more. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.15 is 0 0.35 and Similarly, 0 0.2 moles of HCH3CH2OH, which is ethanol, have reacted. So as 0 0.3 moles have, uh, 0 0.2 moles have reacted, 0 0.1 mole is left because uh, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 is left. Now, it says that explain why Kc for this reaction has no units. Now, if you look at the uh, expression for Kc, uh, the constant, all concentrations are in mole per dm cube. So when I multiply these two, I get the units mole square dm minus 6 because both mole per dm cube, they multiply together. So it will get, sorry, mole squared dm minus 6, dm to the power of minus 6. And upon mole square, similarly, mole per dm cube into mole per dm cube, which is mole square dm minus 6. So these cancel out and as these cancel out it will have no units. So the numerator units and the denominator units cancel out. So the value of Kc has no units. 
Now the next part says calculate the numerical value of Kc. Now we already have the expression and uh, let's also look at our